I'm from a small town right outside of Goldsboro, Pennsylvania. In this town, we're just surrounded by farmland. We know what homelessness is, but it's not prominent in our eyes. We understand that it's out there, but we don't know why, and it's not important for us to do anything about it. I remember going to Wilmington and it being a complete culture shock. Homeless people everywhere. I didn't know what to do. I never believed in giving homeless people handouts because I never thought they tried hard enough. Story time. One day in Wilmington, North Carolina, I was driving to go to the Target. And in order to get to the Target, you have to pass this Hooters on Market Street. Across from this Hooters, there is always a homeless person asking for money. As I was sitting at the stoplight, waiting to cross the street, I was watching people roll down their windows and hand this man money, which is something that I normally do not do. Once I finished my shopping, I decided to take a right onto Market Street. As I continued driving further down, that's whenever I looked to my right to see the same homeless man I saw on the corner earlier. My face was in shock. I saw the same man that those people were handing money to walk out of the liquor store with a case of beer and another brown bag in his hand. Brown bag. That's why I never believed in giving homeless people handouts. But that's not the case for every homeless person. It turns out there's so much more that I was not aware of. But of course, living in a place like this, I would not, nobody would be aware of the issues look around us we don't have to worry about that there are many factors that play into becoming homeless one of those many factors includes mental illness mental illness rates in homeless populations are two times that of the general population according to SPK Jenna in her article homelessness research practice and policy Another large factor that plays into homelessness is unemployment. Many homeless people struggle to find employment because they don't have a proper address to supply to their employer. According to Sarah Golubek Goldman's journal, Ban the Address Combating Employment Discrimination Against the Homeless, many employers don't accept addresses from transition addresses or shelters. So that's why it's so hard. One of the largest factors that plays into homelessness is the lack of affordable housing for homeless people. This factor is one of the hardest factors to find a solution for because it is so big and deals so much with policy and the government. For poor Americans, housing crises and recessions hit the hardest. That's whenever they get evicted. That's when they become homeless. But how do they get out of it when they don't have housing that they can afford? Like anybody else, you could say they could go to a shelter. But unfortunately, shelter-based responses are just managing the problem for now. People need a real place to stay, a place that they can afford. One of the things that plays into the lack of affordable housing for homeless people is gentrification. Gentrification is when wealthier people come into existing urban communities and cause changes that are complicated in that they are helping the community and new people, but causing rents to increase, kicking the people who can't afford it to the curb. The landlords are the happy ones in these situations. They're making more money. Their rent's increasing. But this also leaves room for them to treat people unfairly to push people that they know might not be able to afford the new rents out so then they can get new, wealthier people in. As these people are being pushed out, the landlords, communities, and local governments are bringing in more revenue. Some might think that this revenue could be put towards helping these homeless people or now newly homeless people. This is usually not the case. 
the Cape Fear's version of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, called the Tri-County Homeless Interagency Council, was asked to do a count of homeless people within a 24-hour period. This count specifically was done in 2019. In 2019, the number was 431 homeless people in the Cape Fear region. This was up from the 2018 number of 98. That's why the council approved a homeless continuum of care. This is an organization that works with service providers and government agencies and the public to, to reduce homelessness in the Cape Fear region. The Homeless Continuum of Care decided to put together this program called Home Starts Here. In order to receive Home Starts Here, you just have to be homeless. They have 50 plus agencies collaborating together to help homeless people find a place to live. All that they have to do is take an assessment and see as to how Home Starts Here can help them. Once they take the assessment, all they have to do is wait to be contacted by an agency. Once they are contacted by an agency, they will then be placed in a home that is secure and they don't have to worry about being taken out of. Home Starts Here has served over 1,000 homeless individuals in 2018 and so many more since then. Sitting down one-on-one -on -one and providing help and solutions for homeless people to find affordable living is the only way that we can get them off the streets and get homeless people into homes, into warmth and into shelter where they deserve to be. The only way around that is to work with them and to work with the communities to find ways to make homes more affordable.